How come everyone else can pull off fake glasses and I can't? I just got some bags. I'm not looking so great. Also, if you can see here on my hairline, please don't at me about it. Yeah, I color my own hair. Yeah, I'm messy. That's what happens when you do it in your bathroom at 6.30 in the morning. Uh, so today we are off to do pretty much the same shit that I do in every vlog. Errands. I feel like filming it is my motivation to actually to go out and do these things. I mean, I don't need to go out right now, but I want some footage. I also really want some coffee. And I do have this one from yesterday, um, but with all of the ice cubes in there, this will be gone in 0.2 seconds. So I'm gonna go get some coffee. I do need to get some sparklers for our wedding. Stay tuned for that video. Um, but I think I'll just, I'll use that footage, maybe the buying the sparklers, because that's not really that important. It's probably gonna be a 30 second, if that clip. Um, put them in both. I'll put them in the wedding video and this one. I'm giving you guys all kinds of sneak peeks. If you haven't seen my last video, uh, I dropped off, I, I let you see me dropping off one of my invitations and I didn't go into the invitations or anything. Uh, all that will be in the wedding video as well. Maybe I should try to finish that before I get to Starbucks. I just looked at my camera and panicked because I thought that whole time it wasn't recording. So I was well, that's, that's great. That's annoying. That also happened to me yesterday. So, let me know, you guys, if you want to have... I think I will make some videos just mostly opinion pieces or advice pieces on planning a wedding. Uh, because I have learned so much. But let me know if that'd be something you're interested in or like if you wanted a specific video about that. Like if you wanna know how to make a website for RSVPs and all things wedding like I did or if you guys want to do video how, how to pick a venue or just stuff like that. I'm obviously not the master. This is my first wedding. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I think that that's, that's the whole thing. I didn't know what I was doing and I ended up figuring it out. So I can make videos for you guys uh, that maybe would help somebody else figure it out. I hate to be this person, but I think no matter what you guys, I mean, if everybody said, no, we don't want them, we don't want them, we don't want them, I'm still probably going to make them because I want to. Um, Okay, so I just got done in the tent, the firework tent. Um, it was really weird. I felt like I was just being watched and followed by this one employee that was there. So like, I got a couple of clips of inside, but he would not stop talking. Like the, the most enthusiastic firework salesman you've ever met in your life. He wanted to tell me about what every single thing did, uh, how great they were, blah, 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 and I'm sitting here just like, I'm only here for sparklers for my wedding, uh, which wouldn't be exciting to show you. That wouldn't leave for much of a firework haul, but I guess technically this guy did his job well because I got suckered into buying a couple of extra things, so I'm going to show you those two. I'm not really going to do much on 4th of July because Matt works nights. Um, so it won't be dark by the time he goes to work and when he gets off, well, that'll be like six in the morning and my neighbors would kill me if I shot up fireworks at six in the morning. Uh, so I'll go over what I got first. I got about a million packages of these. Let's hold it right. Uh, about a million packages of these, the sparklers, enough for every guest invited, which Lord knows they won't all show. Um, I also got, these are just some of my favorite 
things every year is just roman candles and honestly you can't go wrong with roman candles um here's a delinquent teen story of sam's we used to actually everyone just always had a ton of roman candles all year round not even around the fourth of july and as kids we would actually disclaimer don't do this did not tell you to do this i actually got really hurt doing this which was the end of me even partaking. Um, but we used to have what we called Roman candle wars and we would, <laughs> so, so stupid. We would go to like an empty parking lot. Usually it was at the ball field and a bunch of us kids would run around and shoot each other with Roman candles. So they've always held a near and dear spot in my heart, even though the last year that I partook in that, um, I was wearing my favorite pants that day. They were actually white dickies that had red pinstripes. This was in a very punk era of my life. And someone shot me in the leg and it caught the pants on fire. <laughs> so that wasn't, that wasn't fun. It wasn't, wasn't a good time. It was very scary actually. So, um, every year I have to get Roman candles. Doubt we'll shoot them off on the fourth, but whatever. Uh, another classic which is poppets. Uh, I don't know why I get these every year because I actually, I mean, it's something for me to do while Matt's lighting off the big fireworks, which this is all I got. I just got, it's like six of these. They're called festival balls, but I, <laughs> I feel like that's a very funny name. Um, yeah, six of those. That'll be plenty for just us two. Uh, we'll maybe bust into some of the sparklers, shoot each other with Roman candles, light a few festival balls, pop a few poppets. It sounds like a party to me. We're old. Um, I actually just get annoyed on the 4th of July that I can't sleep because the time that I go to bed, aka 9, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock if I'm lucky to stay awake that late, is when everybody starts lighting off their fireworks with uh, so that's really, really obnoxious. Um, the things you kids get to look forward to when you get old. My dog does okay though, so I guess I don't have to worry about that. She doesn't really give a shit about the firework noise. I know a lot of people have real big troubles with their animals, so at least I'm winning there. Oh, I explained this in my, uh, a little bit that I did for my wedding video so you guys won't have seen it yet but if anybody noticed I'm not wearing my ring and that's because it's actually getting cleaned and one of the really tiny the very very end one of the very tiny diamonds came out um, like a month or so ago and so I'm having that replaced so they still have it I'm not wearing it yes I'm still engaged yes we're still getting married now I'm at Walmart, so I'm gonna go in here and hopefully live to tell the tale of how it went afterwards. Walmart's always, maybe instead of saying that it's an experience, I will just call it a lesson in disguise because every time I go in there, I think, oh, this cannot get any worse. And every time I actually live, so. Hmm. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, so Walmart trip's done. The unnecessary Walmart trip, which actually ended up being really beneficial because I found a few odds and ends things that I needed for the wedding, uh, like little buckets to put those spring those sprinklers, <laughs> to put those sparklers in. Uh, but I got a good story out of it. <laughs> I was trying to set up my camera, like you saw in the cart, to get all the shots that you guys just watched. Um, I'm trying to set that up. I'm finagling with it. I'm having to like rig my wallet underneath it to set it up. And all of a sudden I hear someone come up to me and say, Hey, this isn't going to end up on YouTube, is it? <laughs> my heart sank. I was like, Oh no, an employee has got, I'm in trouble. 
And then I thought, ooh, a fan. Yeah. Um, it ended up being a girl that I that I know, and she's actually the first person that I know in real life that had seen my videos. Not a lot of people that I actually know are on Twitter, and um, she is one of them. I know like two people from high school that I know in real life are on my Twitter, and that's the only place that I advertise my videos, well, Twitter and, and Instagram, I've specifically made for this, but on my personal stuff, I don't advertise it because I'm too scared, <laughs> I'm too scared for people I know in real life to see it, like, put it out there to the internet world and a bunch of strangers, fine, people I know, ugh, it makes me cringe, it makes me freaked out, so, um, yeah, that was kind of funny that she ended up seeing me there. <laughs> <laughs> and said that my initial like I wish that I could have recorded just my those split second things that run through your head because I went from it was a roller coaster of emotions from oh shit to hell yeah uh, anyways now I'm on my way home okay guys so I think that that's gonna be it for today um Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in and wasting your time watching me waste my time. <laughs> uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody who like comments and likes all of this because I'm not going anywhere fast and I'm happy for that. However, everybody likes a little bit of confirmation that what they're what they're spending so much time doing is actually worth it and people actually do like it so I really appreciate that I'll have all of my socials linked below follow me on the Twitter world everything's all the same everywhere if I have an account it's Torposaurus everywhere so now that we've gotten that out of the way and I'm pulling into my house okay love you guys bye